for a parade, uh, save for the fact that it was, in, you know, 120 at <laughs> seven o'clock or whatever it you is. Know. And you're and you're turning over stones there, trying to find just one drop of rain tonight. Yeah, yeah and, and we found just a little bit, Doug. Now next week we have more in the forecast. Uh, you can see that the first alert writers are in the most sensitive mode, looking for any rain. And there was a little bit that worked its way through parts of Johnson County. A couple of isolated storms popped up as we had this front kind of move in and stall out. Same story over through parts of Hood County, also into the northwest sides of Johnson County. But that was about it. Now, the next couple of days, it's going to be another repeat of the heat. We issued our alerts from the First Alert Weather Center, letting you know that this dangerous heat is back. 106 for the high tomorrow is the forecast. The record's 104. And on Friday, I'm forecasting 108. The record, 100. Now, Friday night into Saturday, our rain chance is going up to 30%. We drop down to 100 on Saturday. So the alerts are in place because of the dangerous heat in the forecast. Will likely be extended. The excessive heat warning get extended into Friday. We have nine. 90s this week and then 80s next week. So heat advisory through 1 p.m. for tomorrow for all of North Texas. Then it switches over after 1 o'clock uh, to an excessive heat warning uh, because of those feels like temperatures up to 113 degrees and or higher. And record high temperatures are in the forecast. You saw that the next couple of days uh, going into Saturday. I'm forecasting 100. The record high is 101. Then on Sunday 97, the record is 101 as well. So we have a small cool down on the way. And the first alert 10 day forecast shows. Monday, a high of 94, but look at Tuesday and Wednesday. Highs in the mid 80s, at least right now on Thursday, we might have a high of only 79 degrees uh, because of the cold front moving its way through. So upper level high, this heat dome will start to build its way back to the west just a bit more, opening up the door for the next frontal boundary to move through. And you can see the temperature outlook for six to 10 days below normal. So that's going to be a nice change. Where are we sitting right now? 94 degrees. Winds out the east at 6 miles per hour. 97 is what it feels like. We're at 90 in Bridgeport to 90 right now in Greenville to 92 in Terrell. First alert future cast shows into tomorrow. Uh, that mix of a little bit of cloud cover around. Then going into Friday afternoon, a chance of maybe some isolated showers popping up late Friday night. Maybe a couple of storms trying to move in at that 30% chance. And then into Saturday, also seeing that mix of sun and clouds greeting you. But then going into next week, more widespread rain coverage on the way. As we see that change in the upper level pattern, it's going to be nice to see. So your first alert, seven-day forecast shows 97 on Sunday. Monday, we can rock out to that too. Rain chances around 40% on Monday. Tuesday, rain chances at 50%. And Wednesday, 50% rain chances, highs in the mid-80s. You know, Doug, when I'm talking about rain and temps in the 80s, we need some 80s rock and roll, right? Yeah, well, I was going to say, man, I was really good at naming that tune, but I can't get that one. I was like, it's a little sports something. In one beat. <laughs>